fragrance friends welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here i always appreciate you today is going to be another cross country video on perfumes to kind of outlast that travel um but this video was in particularly um inspired by one of the lovely ladies who left a comment on one of my videos asking if i could do my top fresh clash clean scent so this is for her this is me keeping my promise to her but also just in general like Anybody that travels a lot, uh, takes a lot of airplanes, um, whether within America or internationally, you know, uh, and we're also people who love to smell good, that it is important to smell good on these sites. And um, as a person that is a consumer of YouTube, I mean, I'm, I'm still new to fragrance YouTube. I didn't discover it until this year, but I noticed um, there was not any videos that were dedicated to actually how to smell good on a flight, right? So this is where uh, I stepped in and kind of want to review as a person who travels a lot myself, you know, how to smell good, right? One, not to be intrusive, right? That's number one. When you're on a plane with people, you want to smell good because that's priority for People like us, if we're if you're watching this video, that means you are somebody who loves to smell good, but not to be intrusive, right? So kind of just navigating that. You want to smell good, you want to smell strong, you want to last, but you don't want to smack the people around you, okay? You don't want to open up a stone cold, you know, Steve Austin count of whoop on people. That's a, that's a big no-no, okay? Matters. So today, um, without any further ado, we're just going to cover our fresh and clean fragrances to outlast trouble. Um, and I was also specifically, um, another thing that I had inspired me when I was watching the news earlier this month, um, I'm sure a lot of you had noticed this, that there were so many delays, so, so, so many delays, so many flights were canceled. And if you've ever traveled, you know, you know, these things, you can never anticipate stuff like that. And sometimes you might go a long while even if it's a, a just a, a national flight just from one end of the country to another or one state to another that sometimes unforeseen things happen and you're stuck in the airport right and sometimes you have to, it's just ugh, you know and that's just life it's the way of traveling so how do we maintain that freshness right when you can't get to a shower and shower up so I just picked up a couple of things. I picked up four fragrances and two body sprays because, yes, I need to ca um, cover my, um, my friends that also may not be able to have a fragrance and have to stick to body mess. So I have you covered with one as well for a combination for you guys that will outlast cross-country cross travel. Okay, so let's just hop right in, just get to it. And I just wanted to also say, I apologize if my voice was shaking in the last video. My anxiety was on 10. My heart was in the right place, but my anxiety was like, no, no, Madame, Madame Mosette, we're going to take the reins and we're going to give you anxiety you know, extra treble to your voice and make it shake. So please, please forgive me. Um, you know, it's like my voice was shaking. It was just one of those days that was out of my control. Uh, anxiety was on 100. But today, my anxiety is a little bit better. So without further ado, we're just going to hop right in. Okay. All right. First one up is a classic one. And this one reminds me so much of my mama. Um, her and I, well, mostly her. <laughs> when I used to borrow her fragrances. Um, so I would say her and I, right? Um... A really good classic one here, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Um, primarily, she uses light blue, the original one, um, but I find myself leaning more towards the light blue intense, and I think she's been through one or two bottles of this. My mother is a huge fan of fresh and citrusy fragrances, and I feel like I, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here with you guys on how awesome this fragrance is. It is literally a classic. Oh, it's so good. It just brings back so many memories. It's citrusy. I think there might be some kind of white floral in there. And the musk. It's the musk. It's the musk that does it for me. The kind of, one, makes it long-lasting. It The citrus keeps it fresh and clean. It is just so good. I put it on my arm this morning. And I can, <laughs> I can still smell it on my arm. Oh, my goodness. And this is one of the most inoffensive fragrances to me when it's on the skin. Um, love, love, love this. This is going to keep you fresh and clean. God forbid you're traveling and you get stuck in the airport or your flight gets canceled and you need to get rerouted through another state or whatever the case may be. You know you will be smelling good. Um, and on that note, I would highly recommend because you cannot actually carry the perfume bottles on the airplane. 
Um, you can carry travel size in your purse because I, I do it. Because um, I think it's under... Yeah, I, I do. I carry travel size perfumes. Yeah, I do. So I would recommend to always keep a travel size perfume in your purse um, or whatever handbag or um, carry-on that you have of a fresh fragrance, of a fresh clean fragrance. So if you can get the travel spray of Dolce & Gabbana, keep it on your um, on your person at all times so you can freshen up if you ever need to, okay? So first one up, classic. I'm not going to spend any time talking about this because hello. So Dolce & Gabbana, light blue intense, really OG, fresh, clean, and it will last. Okay, quickly moving right along. And another one, uh, this one is an affordable one, but no ladies ever talk about it. This is uh, Swiss Arabian Sugar for him. So now some of you are going to be like, oh my God, that's a male, male fragrance. First of all, I do have some males watching this video. Not many, but I do. So obviously this would be a great one. But I need to preface this really strongly before I talk about this. This is a bloody strong fragrance. I am a notorious over spray and even I cannot handle more than four to five sprays of this. One, it, it'll knock you out, but two, it actually takes away the beauty of this fragrance. And what is this? This is Shug Off for Men. This is a stunning fragrance. Oh, it opens up with aquatic notes and that aquatic notes might scare some people, but Give it 30 seconds. It's gonna dissipate within 30 seconds. And after that, then you start to get that um, that citrus, the lemon and lime smell. You start to get that lavender. You get that musk, you get that praline. So the praline adds this sweetness, but it's not cloying at all. And it is um, a, a sibling to Shag Off Woman, which is again, a very crisp, very sweet citrusy fragrance. Um, so this is the male version of that, but in my opinion, this should be unisex. So yes, maybe the first 30 seconds might come off, you know, the aquatic notes in the beginning might come off super, what people might think as masculine, but it's a 30 second, 30 to 60 second, you know, thing, and it just dissipates, and then you really start to get that lavender. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is legitimately the, the epitome of what a white t-shirt scent is like the hot hot weather you want to be fresh and you want to be clean um you get that lavender you get that i think there's lemon and lime there's some kind of like citrusy lemony note in here oh goodness you get that praline definitely there has to be mustard this is going to be long lasting so i would highly recommend for this um to not spray more than four to five fragrances and when you smell this you'll understand what i'm talking about one it's super 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 strong okay two it actually takes away the beauty, like for Chanel per perfumes, it's one of those perfumes. I and mean, first of all, with any perfume, the more you spray, like sometimes it can actually take away the beauty, but there are certain specific perfumes you do not want to overspray, like Chanel is one of the perfumes you never, ever, ever, ever want to overspray because it literally teeters the point of smelling good to smelling really bad. Do you see what I'm saying? It actually takes away the beauty. Um, it's like makeup. Less is more. I mean, I don't wear makeup anyway, but just less is more. Yeah. Um, and another thing that's a be beautiful thing about this, it is inexpensive. It's under $25 and it's available on Amazon. So I would highly recommend to keep this on your, um, to wear this on your cross country flight or international flight, um, four to five sprays. If you want to get crazy and I highly don't recommend it, maybe six sprays. And if you ever do get crazy and go more than four to five sprays, make sure you spray it on the lower half of your body. So we'll never kind of, um, overwhelm you because this will overwhelm you if you put too much on your torso. So if you need to go beyond five sprays, put it below your knees so it would waft up and dissipate the smell so it doesn't become overly whelming. Oh, here you go, this is a better image of it. So shug off for him. I'm gonna list the names down below. I highly recommend for cross country travel. Next one is another one I have mentioned several times on this channel. It is another inexpensive fragrance. Um, this is under $60, I believe. And you can also get this one on Amazon. Oh, of course you can get this on Amazon, but you can get this on a lot of different websites as well. But this is from the um, Mid Middle Eastern brand, uh, Rasasi. This is from the Kasamet line. This is specifically called Rasana. There is apple in here. It's, uh, I think, also like a citrusy. It's woody. There is aoud in here. Oh, it's so amazing. This is unisex. So if you are really into those sweet feminine fragrances, I would recommend you kind of steer clear of this. But this 
fits the bill for fresh and for clean, long lasting. This baby is superbly strong. That's why there's barely any dent. I, I don't really do much of this. I mean, this is a stunner. I, I, this is so, oh, oh, so good. Oh yeah, this is really good. Um, you get that apple, you get that citrus, you get that woods in the back and um, the oud, you get on the dry down. Like initially I didn't pick it up for a long while. I actually didn't pick it up. Um, but I think I also, I didn't analyze the perfume while it was on my skin. I just always kind of sprayed it and went about my day on my clothes. Um, but then when I actually paid attention to it, it being on my skin, on the dry down, I do sense that oud, but I would say don't be scared of the oud because it is such a clean smelling oud. It's not barnyardy, it's not animalic, it's not fecal smelling, none, none of that. Um, it's very well done. And if you're familiar with any Rassessi um, perfumes, you know that they are long lasting, they're quality. I mean, first of all, the bottles, first of all, this is my favorite color, is a blue, um, blue, it's so pretty. So this will outlast your flight. And again, it's fresh and it's crisp and it's clean, smelling not laundry, not laundry smelling clean, but clean as in just like uh, the smell of fresh lemons and apples, you know? Um, and this will outlast your trip, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So pretty, pretty. And the next one might be a little bit of a more unexpected one, from my opinion. One, this lasts long on clothes, and two, this is more of fresh. So this is more a fresh floral fragrance. This is Miss Dior by Christian Dior. Uh, yeah, Miss Dior Roses and Rose. Yeah, right, I said it right the first time. Miss Dior Rose and Roses by Christian Dior. This is obviously a rose fragrance. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love this fragrance. It is so underrated. It is so bloody underrated. Oh, my goodness. It is airy. It is fresh it is rosy it there's geranium in here and if you're familiar with geranium is it is a rosy scent but there is a green accord to that um to that rosy smell so it makes it fresh and gives it a sharpness to it so it gives that green element to the rose so it has that rose but it, I, I believe this has aldehydes in here so this it's it, I know that sounds scary I know it does but it gives it that airy fresh feeling to it and this is not a uh, vintage smelling aldehyde at all what you might think of like um, vintage smelling perfumes in my opinion not at all not at all this is such a pretty I think there might be pear in here I think there must be some kind of fruit oh wow it just wow 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 Oof, this is so pretty. This is literally the epitome of a pretty smell. So if you're craving anything, you know, florally um, smelling, because all of these are legitimately just crisp fragrances, so you want something fresh, but you still kind of miss the rose, because for me, I've always been a rose lover. It's not something I discovered the last couple of years, or I just, just no, I've literally loved rose since I've been in high school. And I think maybe it might be a cultural thing to me. Maybe that's why I never ever had a bad impression of a rose. I never thought of it as like vintage or waxy. Like I've always smelled good roses and I've just been a weird teenager. I just loved smelling like a rose, um, especially like rose oils, like specifically um, whatever little money that I did have, I would, um, I would order um, rose oil from abroad, abroad and, uh, or whenever I would travel. And just keep it with me. Uh, but I digress. Yeah, I'm a love lover of fragrance. Uh, rose fragrances always have been, always will be. I will never justify loving rose fragrances. And I, I love the attention that rose seems to be getting um, recently, which is really good because it deserves it because it is literally the king slash queen of all florals. That is literally it, you know? Um, so yeah, if you, you know, you want a floral fragrance, maybe this is it. It's aldehydic, slightly powdery. It is airy. It is rosy, but that geranium in, in here just kind of gives it that greenness. It kind of just uplifts it, makes it airy. Um, and I'm pretty sure there must be pear or some kind of like fruit in here. Yeah, she's pretty. She's really pretty. Highly recommend Miss Dior Roses and Rose by Christian Dior. And now moving on to the mist. It is technically one mist, but it's a two mist combination. 
that this combination will last you. This one will last. Like if you go from like a four or five hour flight, this will last you, okay? This is gonna be a combination. So this one is Beautiful Day and Hello Beautiful. Hello Beautiful is from Bath and Body Works. This is part of the core collection. So that means, when I say core collection, that means at any time you can walk into Bath and Body Works and you can pick it off the shelf or you can go online and buy Hello Beautiful, okay? What is Hello Beautiful? It has white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. This literally smells, yeah, oh boy. This smells like a fresh garden fresh garden like literally I'm in an English garden and the air is just breezing between the petals of the roses and 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 the flowers and definitely that cotton musk kind of kind of gives it this almost brightness to it yeah that musk it definitely gives it that sharp clean element to it yeah and telling you that cotton musk elevates it it elevates it and gives it that fresh freshness what otherwise could have been kind of gone maybe a, a, like a different way, right? Uh, so this definitely sharpens it, crisps it. Um, um, it's like adding the starch to a white t-shirt. So that that cotton musk in here is like adding a starch to the white t-shirt. That is how this works, right? So you have a floral fragrance, but it is crisp, okay? And here's another one. Um, we're gonna pair that with this. This is Beautiful Day. Now, this is not part of the core collection. However, and again, this is from Bath & Body Works. This comes in and out from Bath & Body Works often. It's constantly repackaged. I believe it was repackaged recently and it was brought back for SAS. I could be mistaken, but this is um, an older packaging. But again, just keep your eye out for this because this constantly comes in and out. Um, Bath & Body Works this is a highly, highly popular scent. It is Beautiful Day. And what is Beautiful Day? It is sun-kissed apples, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, Pink Peony Fresh Woods. I mean, even the name sounds fresh and clean, right? You really get that apple in here. You get that peony. You get that cassis, that sharpness from the cassis. Like, I, I am a huge fan of cassis. And I don't really hear people, you know, bragging about the cassis note. But for me, I love cassis. I love cassis. It's a sharpness to it. It's like a sharp greenness to it that I adore. I adore it. Um, and you get that peony in here, you get that apple, right? This is a really long lasting one. This one's moderate, but you put these two babies together. You will be smelling good for five to six hours. Oh, so good! I love this! Oh my goodness, it just, it just sends me. This just sends me. And I think it's just pretty much the beautiful day that just, mm, and mixed with the garden smell and you hear that fresh garden smell, not, not like a heavy, dense, sweet, cloying kind of garden smell, like a crisp starch, perfect. Like your landscaper just came and, and just did your garden. I mean, the reason why that says my head, my landscaper was literally just out there. It's just this combination is just the thing for traveling. So for whatever reason, you cannot buy a perfume or you just, whatever the case in your life is, because I've been there, done that, all of that, I, I get it, right? So get this, get your hands on this. Again, this is part of the core collection, Bath and Body Works. You can walk in there at any time and get it. And beautiful day, it is constantly in and out of Bath and Body Works. Just keep your eye out for it, put these together, and you will be smelling good on your flight. Fresh and clean and up. Lifting. Okay, quick recap. Um, a classic, which should be no shock that it's on this list, Dolce Gabbana, light blue intense, to smell really sharp, clean, citrusy, musky, and inoffensive. Uh, next one we have, again, we had uh, Shug Off Man um, by Swiss Arabian. And yes, it is a male fragrance, but in my opinion, this is a unisex fragrance, but if you love highly feminine fragrances, stay away from this. But if you love unisex fragrances, please try and get your hands on this beautiful, be beautiful blue, blue um, liquid here. Again, we have Resana by Resessi. And all of these are available on Amazon. I don't know about this, but the other three are. And we have another floral fragrance, Miss Dior, Rose and Roses by Christian Dior. 
And again, the combination that we had, Beautiful Day and um, Hello Beautiful. Alrighty, my friends. Thank you so much for bearing with me for this video. Um, let me know what your favorite fresh, clean fragrances are. As always, I appreciate you being here with me and taking the time to be here. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, please do let me know. Don't be shy. If you're, because um, I know some of you are shy, so you guys end up sending me an email. If you're shy, go ahead and send me my email. My email is always down below. So just go ahead because I understand everybody has their own personality. Some people might be shy. Um, yeah. I really appreciate it. and just a gentle reminder, the sweetest fragrance we will ever wear is our behavior and another gentle reminder to please find somebody to think today even if it's for something small and more importantly find somebody to think today even I just said that. Oh my <laughs> just retract that, okay? Just hit the MIB. I'm just gonna erase your memory. Okay, let's 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 redo that. Just a gentle reminder, please find somebody to think today even if it's for something small and more importantly take a moment to thank God because if you're here watching on this mess of a video, that means we made it into yet another day and even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you my friend. Bye.